the most common misconception uh, people have about cops is every time they see them, they think they're about to get pulled over. They think they're going to get a ticket. You know, even me, when I'm driving around now and before I became a cop, whenever I saw one, first thing I do is take my foot off the gas and look and see how fast I'm, I'm driving. But now being on the other side, I know that nine times out of ten, a cop's not looking to give you a ticket. He's usually on his way to a call going to help somebody, not just there to ruin your day with a ticket. One of the main reasons I became a police officer was several years ago, my brother and I had uh, got into an incident where we got mugged. It was a 12 on two situation and we were trying to be as passive as possible in that situation as anyone would be. And it didn't turn out so good. And it really uh, frustrated me from that point on. I got involved in self-defense and street martial art fighting and I thought that if I really applied myself, I could be a good police officer. Go ahead, get in behind us so we pick up some speed and then get in behind him. We got some information that uh, a probation violator suspect is on probation for a dope charge is headed in this direction. We're about to catch up to him and see if we got anything else on him besides the probation. Let's go play it real cool. Uh, just do a regular TV to get him out of the car as soon as possible while you can. Insurance? Yeah. Matty? Yes, sir. Okay. Right, step on that car with me for a second, all right? Okay. All right, the reason we pulled you over is you're going a little fast today. Okay. And uh, we also got a little information. You may have a probation violation warrant for your arrest. Okay. Violation warrant for my arrest? Yeah. You ain't got nothing on you, right? No, no knives, guns. And straight up in the air, okay? Straight up in the air. No, but, uh, you may have. Okay. Is this cigarettes or what? Cigarettes and what? Okay, you got quite a bit of money in there. You selling something? What's in there? Does he have something in his pants? Yeah, what's in there? What's in there? If you have anything in your shorts, man, you can let us know. Shorts or what? Yes. Huh? Yes. Underwear? No, it's in my pants. So what's what what is this, ma'am? Ecstasy? Ecstasy? You have any more of this on you? Hey, Matt, you were going to need to have a seat back there, all right? find out what he's got. He'll be under arrest for possession of narcotics and we'll probably be taking his money. This guy here uh, had that stuff on him. Try to get a narcotics officer out here. That way they can uh, make sure that's what it, you know, he said what it was. He said it was ecstasy, but we'll get a narcotics officer out here and he makes sure what it is. 
Pretty good. You want to go ahead and hold on to that? Yeah, he's got quite a bit in there. We'll take just one of those for a felony, so. George 214, are there any available narcotic units uh, monitoring this channel right now? Right there. Right there. Luby's over there off of uh, Brentwood or whatever. Okay, Ford, just to let you know, we got a narcotics unit that's going to be coming over here talking to you guys just to make sure. Uh, so make sure everything said to him is, is already covered. Exactly. So, so they should be here in a little bit. Okay. You have the right to remain silent and not make any statement at all. Any statement you make may be used against you at court in your trial. Any statement you may use may be used as evidence against you in court. You have the right to have a lawyer present to advise you prior to and during any questioning. If I have some questions for you, you ready to talk to me about something? Okay. Where'd you get that stuff at? Back in Arlington. Where were you taking it? 